toxic parse culture is ruining Wrath of the Lich King. This is a very popular topic for people to complain about all the time in Wrath. And this is in Burning Crusade and Classic WoW. And to be honest, it's in Retail WoW too. Like, this isn't a classic problem. What is up, guys? Stay safe here. So, right now, there is a huge discussion taking place on the Classic Wrath forums about whether or not parse culture, parsing culture, Warcraft log culture, whatever you want to call it, is ruining Classic Wrath. So I think that's a massive fucking overstatement. Anybody with a brain knows it's not ruining Classic Wrath. It's fucking stupid. There are bunches of people who like parsing. The problem is that people parse at the expense of completing the raid. And parsing has, it's become such a big deal because people are, are graded based off of their parses. Because it's like, oh, well, you can easily say like, oh, it doesn't matter how, how good your parses are. But if you want to join a guild and you've got bad parses, well, then they're not going to want to invite you. Uh, I think obviously, I mean, it, it sounds crazy that this is even the case because it's classic WoW. Like, who gives a fuck? Parsing? Oh, for anybody who doesn't know, parsing is whenever you try to do as much damage as possible because there are websites, and there's mainly like one website, it's the main website for it, uh, Warcraft Logs, and it basically has a running tally of the highest DPS on every fight for each class and each spec. So, like, for Arms Warriors, you want to, you know, have the highest parse of, like, all the Arms Warriors that did this fight. And it's like a uh, an upload thing. And so you have people that are trying to pad on ads, and then sometimes the ads are not included in the damage that is, uh, you know, considered for the parse. So that changes the way people play the game. Now, I think this is, again, like, if it was up to me, I would turn off parses in every single raid that I do. Like, every single raid that I do, I think parses make people play worse. I don't think it's ruining the game, because the players are deciding to do that. They're the ones ruining the game. It's not the parses' problems, it's players being stupid. But at the same time, uh, it is annoying. It is extremely annoying. I remember one time, we were wiping, and I told everybody we were going to private log, and we killed the boss within like an hour. Like, people parse on progression. It's so fucking annoying people generally the more casual players think that people's obsession with chasing parses is a bad thing yeah while others generally the more hardcore players think trying to parse is totally fine yeah now real quick for those of you that don't know in regards to classic wow and, and this is also another problem that a lot of people have is that you know, Classic WoW wouldn't be Classic WoW without a bunch of fucking losers going around telling each other how to play the game. This is so fucking common nowadays. I am so tired of it. It is so drawn out. Like, stop telling other people how to play the game. If you don't like GDKPs, don't do GDKPs. If you don't like speedruns, don't do speedruns. If you don't like world buffs, don't raid with world buffs and find other people that are like-minded that want to do the same thing. Like, there's been so much of Classic WoW that has been built around the idea of trying to force other people to play the game in a way that is reflective of their partial memory of something that happened 15 years ago. It's so fucking annoying your parse pretty much means Ugh. how you compare to every other player around the world that also plays your class Play and my your way spec. so if you have a 50 parse on patchwork you're exactly average your top 50 percent bottom yeah yeah exactly 50 parse is average uh gdkps affect everyone's economy though no they don't because gdkps do not create gold buying gold and botting creates gold so blaming gdkps for for farming gold is stupid because there is no gold that is generated by the nature of a GDKP existing. What you should be blaming is Blizzard for not banning bots and banning gold buyers. It doesn't make any sense. So you're saying GDKP, sh like we had GDKPs back in Original Wrath. You're saying that players shouldn't be able to play with each other in this way. And you're going to punish the player base because Blizzard doesn't want to uphold their own terms of service. Get the fuck out of here. No, that's ridiculous. Like, fuck you for even trying to blame it on the players. I think it's the player's fault that like Blizzard can't uphold their own TOS. It's just it's fucking ridiculous. Can't believe it. I'm 50%. If you have a 93 parse on Patchwork, you're in the top 7%. It's all percentile based.
So players that take the game a little bit more seriously will try to min-max or play at a very high level yeah. in order to rank competitively amongst their peers, people that are also their same spec and their same class. That's the general idea behind parsing in Classic WoW. By the way, at our little fucking uh, dodgeball event, the only thing that Nick, Rich, and uh, fucking Soda were talking about was parsing and Nax. And S fans started talking about it too. And I looked up my parses. Here's the thing. Like, I looked up my fucking parses. Here's what my parses are. Warcraft logs. This is in Classic WoW. Asmon Fresh. And Sky Fury. These are my parses. Yeah, they suck. Ah, that's about right. I feel, I feel great because I know that whenever I'm playing the game, I'm, I am performing very well and I'm doing great. Yeah. If everybody played the way I did, the fights would be over. Seems fine to me. Absolutely fucking fine. I don't care about how high my parses are. The reality is I used to be, I know there's some people that like to get high about like thinking about how good they are for, uh, you know, getting parses in Classic WoW. Let me tell you something. Getting a parse in Classic World of Warcraft is like winning the fucking... It, it's like winning a... Uh, it, it's like, you know, like track and field in like third grade. Nobody gives a fuck. It doesn't matter. Like the reality is if I go back and like I, I look at my old parses whenever I was playing the game seriously and I used to do it very, very seriously back in Legion long, long time ago you go back to Trial of Valor, and you see that, I had pretty decent parses there. You look at Nighthold, very decent parses back there. And of course, Emerald Nightmare, very, very decent parses. And this was during the time that this was actually current and, uh, and important content, right? Solid fucking 99s for pretty much everything. And so, like, I don't need to parse because I know if I play the game seriously, I'm the best. That's all there is to it. Like, I don't need to prove that to anybody. I don't need to go out and fucking get another 99 yellow parse or something like that. That's all there is to it. I did it multiple times. People that try to go around and parse, especially in Classic WoW, absolutely fucking pathetic. Yeah, five touchdowns. If coach had put me in in fourth quarter, we'd have made state. I'd have gone to fucking, I'd have gone to school for it. I'd been in the NFL right now. I'd be in a hot tub with the love of my life. Okay, guys? How much you want to bet I can throw a football over those mountains there? The parsing in classic is like, uh, you know, taking it that seriously whenever you're, uh, you're, you're not even in varsity. That, that, that's what it is. So I figured we'd take a look at this forum post and talk about the problems with parsing culture and I'll give you my thoughts along the way. It starts off saying, Don't you guys think that parse culture is making Wrath worse? I mean, what does parsing even mean in Phase 1 of Wrath when the raid is as easy as the heroic dungeons? So it is definitely true that Tier 7 content, next Ramus Malagos Arthurian, is pretty darn easy. But that does not mean that you can't try to master and perfect your form and do it as well as possible. Running 100 meters is pretty easy also, or at least I hope it is for you, but every couple years people still try to get together and set speed records in which they perfect their form and yes the olympics is a speed running event that's true technique to get even better at it do you really need a third party website to tell you if you are having fun in an mmo yeah of course you do and i think the reason why see like you have to keep in mind if you look at this person here they're posting on a level 61 mage which means that they're posting on their alt character because they post, if they posted on their 70 character, people would look up their logs and they would see that this person is not actually upset about parsing culture, but they're probably upset because they're so fucking garbage at the game, nobody wants to play with them because of how bad their parses are. So that's nine times out of ten what this actually is. 
It's because this person's literal trash at the game and they're complaining about it because it's holding them back because nobody wants to play with somebody that has a verified fucking, uh, f like a, a, a trash gameplay on another website. Maybe he hides his profile so people go straight to the argument. Well, it, it's not an ad hominem argument. Because an ad hominem argument is attacking somebody as like a person. Like really what you're, you're looking at is I'm attacking his credibility. I'm attacking his credibility and I'm attacking the objectiveness of the argument. And I think that you can very easily say that if somebody is being held back by their lack or inability to parse, that their opinion on parsing is going to be biased. So yes, you're, you're, not, going to, you're not going to catch me on one of these. If so, maybe you'd be happier in a game with an actual competitive... That's the problem? People discriminate based on parses? Well, why would you want to bring somebody who doesn't do as much damage? How is... So, 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 so this is now a problem that, like, the entire game needs to solve the fact that you're bad at the game? It's ridiculous. ...have seen, like, Overwatch 2. Of course, you'd need skill for this. You can't just cheese it like you can in WoW. Um, apparently this guy never played Zarya. ...by using exploits and bugs. I mean, if you're parsing 99s, you are necessarily playing more skillfully than someone who's parsing 25s, for instance. Now, that's partially true, but a big reason... So, like, as somebody who, as I said, I've, I did a lot of parsing. I know how parsing works. The difference between a 90% a parse and a 100% parse is usually something that is not actually associated with player skill. So it's like the, uh, the fight killing, t the kill time of the fight was like, it was a little bit shorter. So you only had to use your cooldowns once or it was maybe a little bit longer and you got to use your cooldowns twice and you got to AOE down the ads for more time than you would naturally AOE down the ads because let's say a couple other DPS died on the kill attempt. There's like, a yeah, there's like obviously RNG as well, but there are also just structural advantages that just occur randomly. Yeah, power infusion, etc. Yeah, if you're getting 90% parses, you're probably just about as good as somebody who's getting 100% parses in Classic WoW. It is entirely okay to not care about this at all and just pay zero attention to it, but it is the objective truth. Now, when bugs or exploits pop up, this is the sort of thing that differentiates a 99 parse from a 100 parse, which means you're the number one player of your spec or class in the world. And almost always these bugs or exploits are very quickly identified and these parses or these logs are invalidated. Classic is not designed to be competitive. Well, you can clearly cheese different types of, uh, of parses. Like if you look at Classic WoW, you look at a lot of parses in, in Retail WoW, like people are getting power and infusions. Uh, I don't know about the spectrum of things that you can do in Retail WoW, but I know that like there's like a, I don't, I'm sure that there are external buffs that you can probably apply to DPS players that will increase their output in Wrath. I'm pretty sure there's a handful of them. So it's like, yeah, tricks of the trade. Uh, I think that you have like that, uh, I think you have that unholy, uh, that unholy buff as well. Um, spell steal exploits, yeah, stuff like that. Power infusion, uh, tricks is usually excluded. Uh, craft a spell weave, get poured to the boss. Yeah, there's a few extra ones, right? And so, uh, tricks doesn't count in logs. Oh, it used to whenever I was playing. I guess maybe now it doesn't, etc. Yeah, sure. Yeah, arms condemn spam. World best parses. Yeah, I think that if you're parsing over like 80 or 90, there's like, that's the same to me as somebody who parses 100. In PvE. It's a social MMO meant for hanging out with friends. You kill the boss, and you get the loot, and you hang out with friends. Relax, and have fun. This is annoying. Classic is not designed to be competitive. No, it's, that's, that's not true. This is just like, an, again, another one of these like stupid fucking boomer classic Andes that's trying to tell everybody else what the game is really designed for. 
It's like newsflash, you didn't work at Blizzard, you didn't make this game, you don't know what it's designed for. They didn't ever said this, Blizzard never fucking said this at all. If it wasn't designed for this, and this is actually a big problem, Blizzard could probably prevent you from being able to upload parses. This is so fucking annoying whenever people talk like this. Because they have no idea what they're talking about. I hate this shit. It's like these 30-year-old boomers that are trying to make everybody relive the exact same way they played it whenever they were fucking 18. It's so obnoxious. For once. To social MMO meant for hanging out with friends. Who the fuck said that? You said that. This social game. So, so obnoxious. personally, I think the beauty of MMOs specifically you can do whatever so you any want. Other genre or type of game. You can play them is that however there you isn't want. Really, a right or wrong way to exactly. play the game. Exactly. You can yes. sort of create your own adventure and make your own personal objectives. You do your own on thing. Gameplay preferences, be it casual raiding, hardcore mm -hmm. raiding, PvP, leveling, completionism, whatever. You can just do whatever you want, and hopefully, you can find a group of like-minded people, maybe guildmates, to do it with. Imagine the only that. thing people actually care about is what gear you have, not how you got it. GDKPs have proven this. If you want to be competitive, learn to PvP, and then someone may actually care about your rating. No one is going to remember your parses. I don't really think this is true. I don't think anybody cares about PvP rating any more or less than people care about parses. I think that if you're a PvE Andy, you care about parsing more than arena rating like if somebody has a 2300 arena rating and wrath of the lich king right now i don't give a fuck i'm not playing arena and wrath it doesn't matter to me at all now obviously like in in retail wow it's the opposite uh, i play a lot more pvp than pve in retail wow usually so if somebody has high parses in retail wow it doesn't matter to me that much but arena rating matters to me a lot more need a guild to parse yeah exactly uh, are, are we good? Yeah, we're good, right? Okay, it's 2022. Who cares? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I just, I, I think this entire conversation is so obnoxious. I wish that more people would stop trying to, like, draw these lines in the sand of, like, how people should play the game. You know, Wrath was where 5v5 was better. Uh, Wrath, where 5v5 was better for you than 2v2 back in the day? Well, yeah, well, like, what I'm saying is that, like... Everybody is going to care about your parses if they're also parsing. And everybody's going to care about your arena rating if they're also playing arena. It's the same as, like, nobody's going to care about what your Valorant score is in League of Legends. Or nobody's going to care about what rank you were in Overwatch whenever you're playing WoW Arena. They're just irrelevant because the people there don't value that. It's that simple. I mean... I'm sure all of us, if you're listening to this video, I'm sure we all know at least one person that has insane gear, but is absolutely terrible at the game. So... Yep. My opinion is that gear means much less than how you're actually able to utilize that gear. But beyond that, I really think most people just use parses as a metric to determine whether or not they are personally improving each week. They're comparing themselves to them. I completely disagree with this. I think that most people are parsing for their own ego to get higher parses than other people. That's always what it is. They're always trying to get a higher number to beat higher uh, uh, other people. The only time that I would ever care about beating my previous parse is if I already had a number one parse on the fight and I wanted to get a higher number this week because I thought other people might get more gear this week and I still want to remain number one. That is the only time that I care about beating my own parse. Pat to their past selves. Last week you parsed an 85, this week you parsed a 90. You're improving. That's good. That feels good. Really, I think what matters is finding a community of like-minded gamers to share your gameplay preferences with. If yes, you do that, exactly. you are guaranteed to have a fun time playing Classic WoW. That being said... Yeah, I think that one of the biggest problems in Classic WoW is people that come into the game with one expectation of how the game should be played, and then they join a group of people that don't think the same way they do. 
That is the main reason why people are not happy about Classic WoW. Somebody joins a fucking raiding guild and now they have to get world buffs, or somebody's getting all the world buffs in a raiding guild and then the raiding guild is casual. Both times you need to join people that have the same mindset that you do. It's that simple. People ignore mechanics to parse. It's uh, it's so toxic. You're missing the point. Um, no, I I I said that very plainly and obviously at the beginning of the, the the thing. Like I wish that I could turn off parses whenever I did raids because I think that it makes people play worse. I am not a fan of parses, and if I could push a button, I would delete the entire website. But I would not push that button really because it's not up to me to do that. This is not my decision to make. It's not my, like, the way that I want to play the game is not the same way that somebody else wants to play the game. Now, I don't want to go around telling other people how to play because I don't want other people going around telling me how to play. It's that simple. If you're looking to join random groups and you are a statistically below average player, I don't really think you can blame anyone for not wanting to play with you. Mm -hmm. But let me know what you guys think. Is parsing culture ruining classic wrath? Or is it okay and you just do whatever you want? It's if you like it, stupid. you do it. And if you don't like it, you don't do it. Please make sure to yeah. drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Subscri yeah, it's so easy. It's so easy. You just join a raid of people that have the same mindset that you do for parsing. It's that simple. And in my opinion, I think any other solution is bullshit. Subscribe for more if you have been enjoying the videos lately. Find me on Twitch. Drop a like. Drop a comment. Go buy some power gum while you're down there. All the links are in the description down below. And as always, thank you guys for watching and stay safe. That was a good video. It's a good, very, very good video. I'm glad that, uh, you know, more people are talking about this. I am really not a fan of the, uh, the whole classic wow, oh, people aren't playing the game the right way. You guys have probably watched a lot of Stay Safe's videos already, but I'll link this one as well. Make sure to give him a sub and give him a like. I've watched this stuff for quite a while. Why Classic Andy's freak out so much about GDKPs and parsing stuff? And The reason why is because Classic WoW is built around the idea of recreating an experience. That's why it's, that's why it's like that. It's because people want to... They want to recreate an experience that they had... And parsing, in a lot of cases, wasn't like that. And it's the same thing as, like, people being hardcore. And it's like, actually, everybody was really hardcore back then. You were just shitty at the game, and you didn't see it. Like, we min-maxed like fucking crazy in Burning Crusade. Like, we min-maxed like fucking crazy in, uh, uh, in Wrath. Do you remember, like, that, uh, that bag of marbles? We were, we were thinking we were going to use the bag of marbles on Brutalis in Sunwell because a couple of people's characters hadn't done the quest in Elwyn Forest because it would reduce his base hit chance by 10%. Yeah, it, it's like, like, oh, well, people didn't do that back then. Yeah, they did. You were just in shitty guilds and you were bad at the game, so you didn't see it. There were parses back in Original Wrath, too. I remember seeing them.